Learn the elements of linear perspective in under four minutes. If you ever wondered how people came up with vanishing points, horizon lines, and all the other fancy schmancy stuff people use when drawing a perspective, then this video is for you. These are the, uh, uh, these are the basic elements of linear perspective. First, we need a human being looking out of only one eye. We call this person the one-eyed viewer. The one-eyed viewer is standing on the ground. This is called the ground plane. The location of our eye is called the viewpoint. The point where we are standing on the ground is called the station point. The distance between our viewpoint and station point is called the viewing height. Now remember, the viewing height is measured from the viewer's eye level, not the top of their head. Next, we need a flat surface to draw on. This flat surface is called the image plane. Think of the image plane as a transparent window that we draw on. The place where the ground plane intersects the image plane is called the ground line. The distance between the eyeball and the image plane is called the viewing distance. What the eyeball can see is called the cone of vision. This cone of vision is 90 degrees wide. Why 90 degrees? Because it allowed the Renaissance mathematicians hundreds of years ago to create a bunch of cool perspective techniques that artists still use today. The direction we are looking is called the direction of view. This is the direction the cone of vision is pointing. In this example, the viewer is looking straight ahead. Light travels in a straight line between any two points in space. This straight line is called a visual ray. This means all visual rays pass through the image plane on their way to the viewer's eyeball. Visual rays from points on the ground plane pass through the image plane straight into our eyeball. If we mark the points where the visual ray intersects the image plane, we get a bunch of dots. If we connect the dots, we get a line. Where these two lines meet is called a vanishing point. We can also connect the points across to get the horizontal lines. A horizontal line drawn through the vanishing point is called the horizon line. The horizon line is a physical boundary between sky and land and also represents the actual height of the viewer's eye from the ground. Voila! We've just drawn a basic image in one point perspective, but we're not done yet. But we're almost there. Where the direction of view intersects the image plane is called the center of vision. A horizontal line drawn through the center of vision is called the eye line. The horizon line and eye line are not the same thing. The eye line and center of vision are always in the exact center of a photo, but the horizon line can be anywhere. The horizon line and eye line are located in the same place in one and two point perspective, but not in the same place in three point perspective. The points where the 90 degree cone of vision intersects the image plane is called the 90 degree circle of vision. The place where the 90 degree circle of vision intersects the horizon line and vertical line through the center of vision are called diagonal vanishing points. If we take a cross section of the top view and fold it down into the picture plane, we end up with our starting setup for perspective drawing. And this is how we map three-dimensional space onto a two-dimensional surface. There are four types of linear perspective, one point, two point, three point, and mixed perspective, which combines one, two, or three point perspectives in the same picture. Congratulations, you now know the basic elements of linear perspective. For more videos, please click like and, subscri uh, like and subscribe. That's it, that's all. This is John Lee, and I'll see you in the next video.